Uh, you know, it's nice to get the ice out of the way. We had a little bit of that this morning, caused some, a few minor issues. Western Maryland, though, seeing most of the ice and sleet, but things finally starting to wind down here. Still looking at some showers, though, across our area. This should continue through about, I'd say, two, three, or four o'clock in the morning before it begins pulling away altogether. There's actually an area of low pressure spinning around. I don't know if you can really pay close attention to the counterclockwise spin with these showers as they make their way northward. You can kind of see that spin over northern Prince George's County. Uh, and you can see it just lifting its way northward, and these showers are forming on the north side of that low as it starts pulling away. So you can kind of see it right there, and it's lifting away and is sending these showers our way. So we're going to continue to see these off and on light showers here, especially for areas really north of. Uh, North of the Capitol Beltway, really. So basically, up I-95 and up into parts of north, the northern parts of the state, up near the Pennsylvania border. But the good news is, look how warm the temperatures are. We're in the we're near 60 down here across parts of the Lower Eastern Shore. You can see on the southeast side of that low pressure, 57 in Salisbury, but running still into the 30s out towards the west. But the only place that is really below freezing right now, of course, is Garrett County, where they had all that ice. And you can see the winds kind of swirling around there. They've been gusty throughout the evening, gusting over 20 miles an hour at times. So it looks like tomorrow morning we're finally going to get rid of the clouds. Uh, probably not until mid to late morning. By afternoon we should see a little bit of sunshine, but it will be a cloudy start to the day. So don't be surprised when you wake up and the sun's not out. You're wondering what's going on. You'll see it later in the day as that dry air starts to pull in. So here's our low moving out of the region now. Looks like the next several days will be absolutely quiet. No storm systems coming down the pike through the weekend into the first part of next week. Here's that storm system pulling away here for tonight. So the rain will continue off and on for the next few hours, then gradually start to dry things out here as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Mid 40s expected here for tomorrow afternoon. Then we have to look forward to. Next week, leading up to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, what I want to show you here is basically the upper level weather pattern here, basically showing all the cold air locked up to the north. You see that red, that purple there. That is some very cold air that is eventually going to get pulled down. You can see how these lines are kind of crossing over the poles, or at least crossing over the Arctic and sending it down towards uh, the lower 48. That air is going to be headed southward, and that's what we're going to have to deal with here coming up. Looks like Thursday, Friday of next week, leading up to Christmas Eve. Arctic cold front, and then the possibility. Possibility that we could see some wintry weather going along with it right now. So details are still a little sketchy, but it does definitely look like it'll get colder. The question is whether or not we'll see wintry weather along with it. Seven day forecast. It'll be chilly, especially at night, but at least we'll have some sun here through the middle of next week. We'll keep you updated on that front and that chance for some winter weather late next Ooh. week. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, for more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Cena Gabber Ab, Tim Williams, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4:30. All right, coming up next.